So now let's get into the Vinny Via of it all, which again is a story that I try to kind of, I've just been turning a blind eye because it's busy. I'm like, is this really anything? We're always coming for Louie. But, you know, there's a lot that's now happening. It is starting to make the rounds. And I started to read a lot of things. And first of all, I mean, there's two aspects to the story that really irk me. First of all, I don't know. Like, if you think that there's enough noise about something, you look at like a Harry Hamlin. You look at like some of these house husbands. You're like, there's not going to be any controversy because there is no controversy. Then you look at these other house husbands like Louis, and it's one thing after another after another. And I hate to keep going back to Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Sutton Strack, but where there's smoke, there's fire. There's not all these things just because we're coming for Teresa, just because we're coming for Teresa. There's something here. First of all, this woman has stepped forward. You know, when they had this party, living in LA part-time, I looked at this party and I'm like, what the hell is this? Every influencer here from, from there, I'm on the East Coast, but from there to like Canada was fucking invited. You have Tyga performing. And I said to myself, this isn't even like a $100,000 party. It's like a $500,000 party, which is fine. But where the hell is the money from this coming? I know Louis, you know, and it's also very, very confusing. Is he an investor? Is he the face of it? Is he hired as an influencer? It's all of the above. We've heard so many different stories. Now it comes out when I say, you know, $100,000, $500,000 party. Apparently he paid a chunk of the money, like 100000 or 175000 And they owe this woman that threw the party at Vinny Villa. I mean, I'm talking about Louis, like three hundred grand. I mean, she's come forward. I mean, is she ever going to see that money? I, I, I doubt it. So here we go. It's around four hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars, which is fine if you're Beyonce. What are you throwing this huge party for? I get it. You want to launch. You want to get the word out. This is not the way to do it. Teresa was there. All of them. I mean, the daughters were there. His son was there. I'm like, I don't know, but something doesn't seem right. This seems like a party that yes, like a network should throw. Like Netflix should throw this party. Um, you know. Beyonce, those are the only two options that I can think of. So now it's gaining, regardless of the fact that this party was thrown and all this money is owed, now we're getting into the fact that and nothing makes sense. Now let's also get into the fact that he took out this $1 million mortgage, which doesn't even also make sense. We have LLCs and it's in one name and it's in another name. The bottom line is nothing adds up. Nothing adds up. So now we're getting into... Louis and this other guy, Genevieve, who is the CEO of Venevia, they're reportedly embroiled in allegations of financial misconduct involving millions of dollars owed to employees, companies, vendors, and agencies, despite their empty business accounts. Um, it's a Swiss company, do, do, do. Uh, despite Louis claims that he has no ties with Genevieve, he's saying he has no ties to this guy, the CEO of Vinivio. Sources indicate the two shared an office space in Los Angeles. I told you he was going to Los Angeles every other fucking week. Additionally, an Instagram reel features Realius endorsing Vinivio. I mean, yeah, dude, this is all you've talked about forever. Hint to get their collaboration. Recently is reported, um... Really has secured a $1 million loan on his mansion. So now he's taking out a loan on the mansion as collateral, okay? And this isn't in Teresa's name. So when the mansion goes away, she too is going to be homeless. Sources close to Genevieve reportedly instructed employees that Rielis was an investor. So, you know, it's we all know he's associated with this thing. Mandating a $300,000 check to be written to a fictitious entity claimed influencer nation and another $100,000 for personal use by him and his sons. It was emerged. Oh, influencer nation was non-existent with no actual investors behind it. Then we get into like the DeMello family. Genevieve is accused of engaging in a fraudulent $6 million deal. I, sometimes I lose you guys in the details. Um, the bottom line is this is a fucking mess that Louis... And the Vinivia CEO are accused of fraud and they owe millions to companies. 
You mean to tell me this isn't true? The fact that they had a party and now they owe this woman $300,000 isn't true. You mean to tell me none of it's true. All of this is just coming from the middle of nowhere. Again, I take the highest house husbands that live uh, live by the book, like a Harry Hamlin, you would never hear this. So it's just the bigger picture of like, out of all the guys out there, Teresa, again, again, Andy Cohn tells you, please have a prenup. Oh, I'm in love. I don't believe in that. I'm sorry, Teresa. It's just, you know, I'm angry because... She's a fucking idiot. You're making the same mistake over and you're in love. So, I mean, I guess the joke is on me because you're in love with your guy. Look, she's going to stand by him. But this guy has pulled the wool over her eyes. And again, I've said this before, and apparently a lot of people slipped into my DMs. They agree. Even the tree huggers, even the people that think that she's the fucking queen don't like Louie. And that's where I'm not sure about a spinoff. That's where I go back. I don't know if a spinoff is going to work with Teresa. I also don't know if she's leaving. But, you know, the one thing is when she was on Watch What Happens and the ratings were great. They were like 400,000, which can I just tell you, around 200,000 people watched um, Dubai. No one's watching Dubai. I don't know. It's not easy to film in Dubai. You know, it's it's a whole different. I I I get permits and stuff. I don't know. I I would be shocked if Dubai came back. Shocked. I would just be shocked. Um, but I'm getting sidetracked. So the point is, when she was on Watch What Happens, the ratings were great, four hundred thousand more than Dubai. I was like, oh my god. Okay, well, you know, they're not gonna fire Teresa, or they will at least give her a spinoff. Now I don't know because Jackie and Jen Fessler were just on Watch What Happens Live, and the ratings were higher than when Teresa was on. So I don't know anymore. I don't know. People are tuning in to watch what happens because there's gonna be no reunion. I got to get the ratings on Jersey. By the way, this Sunday on Patreon, we're going to break down RHO and J. Also, everyone who wants all the questions that you shady bitches, you could ask any question at the live show with me and Sarah. That is being aired on Patreon. Um, the second half of it, because everyone wants to know all the questions that were asked about. I mean, you guys were shady. No, we could not plead the fifth. Sarah and I are announcing a new live show. The first live show went so well. And when something sells well, we're going to round everybody up and do it again. So everyone who's been saying, oh, I wish I was there. Well, guess what? You could either go to Patreon and listen to the whole damn thing or buy a ticket to the next live show. There is going to be another live show. I think Sarah has needed a time out this week so we're not announcing it this week as my voice cracks but next week we are uh we're announcing it um i knew these well i didn't know so fuck off david stop acting so uh i 